Hello, everybody. Hmm. Just have some water here. Yeah. Have some water. Water. Don't know how to start this video. <laughs> and welcome to my YouTube channel. Oh, this is exciting. And this is my first video, obviously. I'll just probably introduce myself and introduce my channel a bit before I actually get into the first video. Yes, my name is Holly and I'm a vegan and I'm going to be a Cambridge fresher 2016, which is really exciting. So I've decided that I want to vlog my whole experience while I'm at Cambridge and I want to show everyone and show the world that being vegan isn't just exclusive to those who have like quite simplistic lifestyles. You can be vegan and you can be extremely busy and work extremely hard as I know I will be doing. I'll be studying very difficult courses I suppose. I'm going to be a Natsuki. I just thought that my first video, instead of doing a vlog because I'm obviously not there yet, I'm going to show you what I've started to buy for university. So we're doing little trips to the shops and getting a few bits that I want to buy. If you want to follow me on my journey, then please feel free to subscribe, I suppose. Subscribe, yeah. Subscribe. Um, like this video, give it a thumbs up, whatever. Do all that stuff. Leave comments. So this video is going to be a haul of what I have and I think it'll probably be part one because I haven't got everything yet. I haven't got the whole shebang yet. Anyway, without further ado, probably get into this video. Okay, so I'm going to first start off with um, what I bought really recently. It's brand new. It's a MacBook. Yay! Look at the beautiful thing. It has a case on it, it has this clear case which I bought so I'll tell you about that in a minute but I decided to get the MacBook Pro 13 inch with Retina display so it's basically the newest MacBook Pro um, yes here we go, MacBook yay um, I was thinking about getting the newest MacBook which is just called the MacBook obviously <laughs> Well, not obviously, but that's what it's called. But I thought that because it only has one USB-C port, as it's called, quite high tech, um, I thought it would be quite inconvenient to not have any ports that you can just simply plug something in. I know you can get like external things, but I just thought that the MacBook Pro seemed to be the best all-rounder. Yeah, I went for the MacBook Pro. And I love it already, it's so good. As I said before, it's got this clear case on it. I just bought it on eBay. It came with this sleeve, which you can put it in. It came with a screen cover and a keyboard cover. It's black and grey, my favourite. <laughs> Not my favourite colours, but I like black and grey. Very simplistic. And I really like it. Best bit about it, I didn't just get a MacBook Pro. Um, if you're a UK student, you probably know about this amazing deal, but I got free beats. Free beats. They're wireless solo to Beats headphones and I don't know if they do it everywhere in the world but in the UK students get free Beats when they purchase a MacBook. So I went for the gold ones and they're really nice. Oh look, can't really hear anything now. I look forward to using those, oh I'll put them away. Anyway, so I need to get other bits like a hard drive and stuff and everything but that'll be in like part two. But I bought this as my new diary it's really cute i really love it it's like um it's more like peacocks on it it's gold white and like this what kind of blue is that it's like tiffany blue i got it from tk maxx it's a kind of student academic diary because it starts in july 2016 um which is really useful because obviously if i bought a 2016 one i would have all this extra space I don't need and I'd have to buy a second one in 2017 so this one's really useful I recommend if you're a student you get an academic diary this one's not just a diary it's actually an adult coloring diary like how cute is that this is this week um it has like little things that you can color in if you like get a little bored it's probably really therapeutic just coloring so if I don't have anything to do, which I kind of highly doubt, but anyway, if I feel like colouring, 
I can just colour in some stuff. They're really cute, they can look. It also has gold edged pages, which I really love. So this is just basically the perfect diary. Anyway, so this is a bag. My bag, I've had it for quite a while now. I got it from Urban Up to I'll probably be using this bag quite a lot in Cambridge. I'll probably use this when I go to like lectures and supervisions and lab sessions and all that jazz. Um, I'll take this because I can just fill up all my books, like my lab coat and everything, all that stuff, pencil case, and also I'll be able to fit in like food as well because we'll have to talk about food. <laughs> yeah, you need a big bag like this. And also in Cambridge, because I'll be cycling everywhere, I'll just be able to show it on my back, so that'll be useful. I don't really want to have some like, handbag. It's quite awkward to cycle with handbags, but open in basket, I suppose. But rocks, that's quite cool. This is a new also, but this is my number seven mirror. I got it for my previous birthday. You just basically lights up around the room. It's really useful where it shows you all your flaws and imperfections on your face, which is good in some ways, I suppose, bad in others. But I'll be taking this with me to like, I'll be doing my makeup when I need to get it out or whatever. So yeah, that's useful. I'll be taking that. I'll get some other stuff. Okay, so these are just another random kind of thing. Um, they're push pins, and I have little turtles here and little bunny rabbit sis. They're actually my sisters so some of the stuff I'll show you is was my sisters because she just graduated from Cambridge which is quite convenient because she knows a lot about what goes on, what kind of needs and I'm actually getting some of the hand me down hand me downs. <laughs> yeah but I'll be using these because I know in the rooms they have like boards we just like push pins and you can put up like to do this or you might like stuff you need your own to do or yeah I've got photos so these will come in handy and they're probably from what is this? Ryman's. They're from Ryman. It's like a stationery store in the UK so it's really good. Just check out some stationery stores. Probably find them there. I've got like some laundry sort of stuff. So I my mum got me this actually. She got really early like before even results day, she got me this, she came back. With this, it's like a black, it's a pop-up storage bin, but I'm gonna use it for my, I'm going to use it for my laundry and like dirty washing and everything. So I'm Primark, here's what my sister used, and I think it's quite useful, it's quite a useful student tip. Um, it's a bag that I'll probably put my washing in when I want to take it to the laundry room to get it washed. That's useful you should do that and it's also recommended that you have like spare change so that you can pay for the washing machine and all that stuff okay the final item that's kind of laundry is is this thing can't really see what it is it's basically an error so yeah just oh oh hello she just does this yeah it's an error i think you kind of get the point like a washing line, you need that thing, so that will be up in my room when I've done my washing. Kitchen essentials. This is my bowl. Yes, it is a plain white bowl. It's bigger than my head. It's huge, but you can't really see, like, this is my size of my hand. It's just really big. But I'll basically be using this to eat most of my meals out of because it's really big, it fits loads of food in, it's just amazing. In my vlogs, you'll see what I'll be eating, so I'm not going to give any of that away just yet. I got that from my local market. So the next stuff is from Ikea. It's just a chopping board bought from Ikea. I'll be chopping up the veg on it. Yay, and fruit. So I got two white bowls. Not bowls, this is a plate. Two plates. Two white bowls. These mugs. This is my mason jar. I also have my water bottle. 12 ounces. Oh. I got a text message. I don't know, it doesn't really hold that much. So I might get a big one. I'll let you know in part two. The final few things are some like kitchen appliances. So this is not you. This is a hand me down. It's a pink kettle. I have this. It's a George Foreman grill. I'll be taking this with me. Just a grill, basically. And the last thing, the most exciting thing, <laughs> is this.
It's new, we haven't actually used it. I don't know if it's any good. Um, I need to look at reviews before I actually decide I really want to use it. But as a vegan, you need to have a bed look. So Rocket Hobbs, we bought it the other day. I will unpack it for you. And the blades. We pull the everywhere. We bought this from our local supermarket. It was on an offer. The food processing jug. Mm, Shake it out. I can put it back in. <laughs> Oh, here we go. This is the blending jug. Like, look at the size of it. It's huge. That's so big. It holds maximum capacity is 1500 mils. In the bottom, it just has the base. It has a 2.5 litre. This is the processing bowl and it has a 1.0 litre um, blending jug, shredding disc, slicing disc, blender that I will probably be taking. Unless I let you know otherwise. But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you might subscribe and follow me on my journey as a vegan Cambridge Natsuki. Which is gonna be really fun. I'm really excited and very excited to show you what I'll be getting up to because I want to like jam pack my time there to take make the most of like every opportunity and show you the reality of studying at Cambridge and being vegan. So that's basically what my channel will be. I'm like a Cambridge Natsuki and I'm a vegan and I want to show you that they're not mutually exclusive. You can be both. And comment down below if you want any more information or you want me to do any other videos before I start vlogging when I'm there and I'll try and do that for you. And obviously look out part two. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon, my new friends. Focus. There you go.